Hello and welcome everyone, I am Maddles and this is another StarCraft 2 England cast. Today I have got a game from the HP Trophy 2 qualifiers. It is between Millennium's 4GG, the blue Terran player in the lower right position. He's up against TSL's Inori, the red Protoss in the lower left. That means we do have a PVT and well so far these qualifiers have been really quite intense. They've been good, they're all best of one games I've cast so far. I'm sitting down for an afternoon casting a whole bunch of them and it is super 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 good fun. I love it. Like massive hearths and rainbows and all that sort of shiz. Now the map Shakura's Plateau. There is of course the supply depot down there. They are in close positions, which is scary times. You should see drops be utilised really quite effectively here. Blink stalkers would also be good. Um, and well, it could be very very good fun. Obviously the natural base quite easy to hold. That's something which is quite significant. The third base is they probably won't take these ones because they'd be literally right next to each other. So we'll probably see expanding a horizontal um, or rather a vertical split on the map. So this is really the prediction of what's going to go on if the game does get that far, of course. Now, in terms of strategy, the three major points of PVT is point one. Protoss have gateway units that are totally awesome. And the Terran players are like, oh, I'm going to die. Then the Terran player gets Marine Warders and Stimpak and are like, lol, gateway units? You thought they were hard? Try these. And then it's up to the Protoss player to get Colossus, a High Templar with Storm, etc to deal with that mass infantry army and really then the Terran just counters that and you get into proper late game. So that is a rough outline of what we should see in store but however there are many many different things that can go on here. There are lots of different strategies available but that is just the most common meta game of the matchup. Now for the moment 4GG doesn't have any gas that's saying to me I'm either going to go for um, two racks opening or I'm going to get a command center after this barracks. Almost definitely going to be the command center though because that is just the thing you do. It is safe to do so on Shakur's Plateau is the main reason. So I will stop trying to do weird voices um, because it's just quite embarrassing for everyone involved I feel. Anyway, looking here we do have Inori coming down and really just going to go out and get a bit of a scout off. We still have no gas, there's the Orbish Command morphing in. We should see the command center really start. As soon as you get to 300 minerals and SCVs pulled, it will go down there in order to start building. And that's because when you get to 300, by the time the SCV gets down there, you can build the command center. So, neat little trick. Also for Zerg, it's at 200, and the Protoss it's obviously still at 300. Now, one Marine moving forward, denying the scouting. Is he going to be able to get through? Obviously, that probe will probably survive. Um, and see that the command center is going down. The supply depot gets chucked up just at the right second. Not that you're hiding very much because it's really quite obvious you win one rack command center. There aren't many other options available at that timing. So here we do see here the warp gate tech on its way down. Getting chrono boosted as well. With only the one gas, we may see a full warp gate. That is a possibility here. Three gates is also something quite likely in my opinion. So obviously that is the most common options. We will see the SCV come up here though. The reason I'm suspecting it's going to be gateway pressure is there's only one gas. Two gas means that there's probably going to be a bit more of a tech play but obviously being only one it leaves open the four gate as obviously the biggest at the bunker being thrown down here and obviously because 4GG has expanded relatively early it, he is going to be vulnerable to early aggression especially big early aggression. Now we do have two more gateways being added on. There's the third one so it is going to be a four gate which is still a very, very good opening. Very good indeed. A pylon coming down on the low ground as well. This may be a bit of a distraction, obviously. If that SCB were to come back, might think maybe it's an expansion. The giveaway as well that is going to be gateway heavy is the chrono boost on the warp gate tech. It's the only real reason you chrono boost that out super fast rather than chrono boosting probes. Now, obviously, the way to defend this if you're 40G is you throw down more bunkers. So, really thinks he knows what he's seeing. Did a scan go down or anything? No, no scan as of yet. But, well, two barracks, uh, two bunkers, three more barracks being added on. Really, 4GG is in an amazing spot. Getting a third bunker up now. Really quite confident there is going to be something bad happening to him in the very, very near future. Which is great spidey sense indeed. But it was all from the scouting, seeing the chrono boost and things like that. So, to be honest, 4GG is pretty much as prepared as you're ever going to be. We've got these war pins going down already. We've got the forward pile on there. Ready for more war pins. We've got zealots. Um, just the one stalker there at the moment. But three bunkers is going to be super hard to punch through. The sentries are critically important. Because the force fields will be used at the back of the bunkers. Preventing the repair from the SCVs. That make them pretty much indestructible. And really, the concern is just, are enough marines going to be be able to get out in time and I fear that yes there will we've got another warping of units more zealots this is very very zealot heavy 
but the second that push starts coming up, we should see 4GG pull an awful lot of SCVs down, ready to defend now. Four Marines being produced at a time. This is a lot of firepower here already. Another pylon coming down. Inori really waiting for the best opportunity. Sees the pylon. Here comes the SCVs. Are they going to get there into repair in time? Well, one force field goes down. The first bunker is going to fall. The Marines out of that already. The SCVs do need to very, very quickly react to this and start repairing up that second bunker, holding for quite a long time. And it looks like Inori is going to fall back. So an amazing defense by 4GG. They're losing so little. Rebuilding that third bunker. ASAP still building four Marines at a time. And behind this, getting a third command center. That is just so good. That is great play. He's like, I'm safe now. I'm going to start thinking about getting more macro. And then I'm going to really dominate the mid game. But just look at this marine production. Absolutely going crazy. We've got the marines spreading out as best they can. One bunker going down isn't a huge issue. Meanwhile, back here we've got a fifth gateway being added on. So... Clearly, Inori just like, I'm going to put on as much pressure as I can. It is an all-in now. If this doesn't deal huge damage, then it's not really going to work. Obviously, with just so many more Marines there, it could be problems. We've got a tech lab being added on. I reckon Combat Shield will go. Actually, no, Stim is the choice. Now, that is quite surprising because it does take three minutes to get out, whereas Combat Shield is quite a quick upgrade. And obviously, when you know that you're in a good spot already, just making those Marines last a little bit longer could be the best choice. Now, one Marine bravely being sacrificed forward but does manage to actually get away just taking a look quick look at what's going on sees this won't see all of these units so may think that the aggression has stopped that's the only possibility we do see an engineering bay on its way down the factory as well the third and fourth gas on their way for the terran player here and just still more and more units basically coming out marauders coming out that's going to help defend this so well and Inori just waiting for just an massive push to be honest which is going to just be a complete all-in push bring in another probe to start building those forward pylons and the push is probably going to come quite soon if he waits too long obviously we're going to have just so many marauders and everything else we should see two marauders getting built at a time now we may see combat shield get started as well from the other tech lab that factory is nearly done so that factory probably just going to be used to, as the tech pathway to get up but here we go is this going to be the push in it looks like it will be will the SCVs get pulled in time we've got lots of zealots coming in, but just look at the amount of firepower there the SCVs getting pulled two force fields go down one bunker falls the first bunker is down the second bunker about to go as well but there's just still so many units there and there is the second bunker the third bunker falls as well but is there enough firepower from the infantry there for 4GG it would appear so the SCV soaking up so much damage in terms of the lost tab 4GG coming out about a thousand resources better. Another wave of war pins, but just too many Marines and Marauders. Still the production coming. The starport in its way as well, but it's not even going to get that far. And under half the supply, Inori is not in a great spot right now. Work account wise, at half of that of his opponent. And well, this is just great play at the moment. Using the SCVs to soak up some damage. Another bunker gets built. If that bunker finishes, that's going to be even more additional defense. And, well, we've got force field going down, but four Marines instantly in there. The force fields are going to allow a couple of SCVs to get picked off. And Norway doing arguably a very, very good job with this push. Using the force fields effectively. Trying to pick off units, but the bunker could just be too much. This force getting so, so small now. And there is Stim finished, and that is probably gonna be the curtain call because there goes the GG stim is just so good against gateway units so an amazing amazing defense by 4GG scouting it out perfectly and he takes the game convincingly so if you did enjoy the cast guys please subscribe leave a cool comment like the video and follow me on Twitter if you want any more Starcraft flick over to my channel and if you've watched it all I'll see you tomorrow for yet another new game thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed bye for now